What's up guys? Hey, welcome to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, tonight we're going to continue our journey on our burger series. This is number two. Tonight we're going to go to Thailand. Tonight we're going to make some Thai tuna burgers. Now, last time we went to the Mediterranean, if you missed that one, uh, check out the link I'm going to put here at the bottom of the screen and you'll be able to check that out. But tonight we're doing some Thai tuna burgers, okay? And for this recipe, we needed a pound and a half of tuna. This is uh, yellowtail tuna that we got at the local store. Uh, nice and fresh, it's about a pound and a half. So what this recipe calls for is for us to mince this up and mix it with all these ingredients here, make our patties and then throw them in the broiler. So hang tight, let me go ahead and prep up this tuna. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, and get this minced up. We'll start mixing up our burgers and things of that nature. And once we make our patties, we'll uh, throw them in the broiler and we'll see what we got. So hang around. So now that we got our tuna all minced up from the, uh, from the food processor, we're going to go ahead and uh, empty this in a bowl and mix in the rest of our ingredients. Now this recipe came from allrecipes.com and as usual we put our own twist on these recipes. So what we're going to do, I'm going to tell you each ingredient and the exact measures will be in the description of the, of the video when you check out the YouTube channel, okay? So the first thing we're gonna mince in with here is we got a, a half a cup of carrots, it's a, a minced carrots, okay? We have a tablespoon of minced uh, fresh ginger. We got a tablespoon of uh, minced cilantro. We got a one-fourth cup of green onions. This is a combination of uh, black pepper, salt, and ground cumin. And like I said, the exact measurements will be in the, in the text of the video. Right? We have one half cup of breadcrumbs. Now we're using unseasoned breadcrumbs for this particular recipe. If you want to throw a little Italian twist on there and things, you can do that. But I wanted to taste the flavors of the recipe, so we're just using plain breadcrumbs here. And this is going to act as a binder. Okay. We have some soy sauce. We have some sesame oil. And last but not least, we have one beaten egg. Okay. So get that all in there. And we just go through the motions of getting it all combined. So hang tight, let us get this combined. We'll make our patties and we'll get them ready for the onion. I'm sorry, not the onion, the oven. Don't go nowhere.
guys, okay, so you saw us put our patties together. Instead of making them manually like we did last time, we used this uh, Easy Pack patty maker. So we got a ton of these things on sale. They work pretty good. Uh, if you use something like this, making any type of hamburger patties or things of that nature, make sure that you spray the bottom with a little Pam or a little oil so that the the meat or the fish or whatever you're making your patties out of release easily, okay? So we got our patties here. So what we're going to do with these now, we're going to brush these each of these with a little bit of ketchup. Now these are going to go in the oven under the broiler four minutes per side. Now I'm just hoping that the patties hold together under the broiler. So we're going to finish dabbing a little ketchup on top of each one of these patties. We're going to put them in the, in the oven on high broil and we're gonna see what we got so hang around that's it we uh, took the patties out of the oven four minutes on each side you know fish especially tuna it'll dry out real quick and it cooks real quick just like when you're cooking a tuna steak you know you want to sear it real quick on both sides you know you know three to four minutes depending on thickness of your tuna because you don't want it cooked all the way through it takes away from it so these here cooked according to the instructions of the recipe four minutes on each side as you can take a look at them you can see the cilantro you can see the carrot bits and things of that nature they got a nice little char around the edges and things so we're going to go ahead and make us a a thai tuna burger we're going to do a taste test and we're going to call it a night so Okay, so let's put this sandwich together. What we're using here, we're using a, a whole wheat Kaiser roll, okay? We've got a little fish going here. We're going to try to keep a little healthy theme going, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put just a little bit of mayo down at the bottom. Nice, cool mayo, just like we did last time, okay? Then we got our romaine lettuce right on the bottom. Then we'll take one of our Thai tuna burgers and sit it right there. Don't that look beautiful? All right. All right. Then we got a little bit of Thai chili sauce here. We're going to top the burger with that. Now remember, this is the first time we're doing this, so it is going to be a make or break recipe. All right. Like I said, we always deviate from the original recipe, so none of the ketchup. The ketchup was inside the burger and the recipe we put on the outside on one side and now we're going to top it off with this Thai chili sauce. So we're going to see how this works out. All right. We're going to pop a few tomato slices on top of it. And just want a little bit more mayo to top off our bun. Let's go ahead and split it in half. And once again, hopefully my knife is sharp enough to cut through everything without tearing up my, my burger. I have got to invest in a good set of knives. If anybody got any suggestions out there, drop me a line. All right, here we go. And there you have it. Nice tuna burger. Look at the inside of that bad boy. Okay. So I'm going to have my wife come in here since she is the, the fish and the seafood expert and help me taste test this here. Okay. Here you go, honey. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's try it out. Oh, man. Pretty good. Oh, man, that is good. It tastes real good. Real good, real good. Okay, so what you think? What, what, what? Tell me about the sandwich and the, and the flavors. You taste a little onions and the... Green onions and the uh, cilantro. cilantro. Mm -hmm. The I like the little spice kick. Yeah, the little carrots give it a little crunch, mm -hmm. and um, the ketchup. I'm sorry, yeah, the ketchup, ketchup. and the Thai chili sauce mm -hmm. works very well with it. You and this uh, mayo on it, mm -hmm. it's pretty good. Yeah, very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, so there you have it. Hey, we went to Thailand. 
Thai tuna burgers, okay? So this is number two in our series and we're gonna keep uh, doing them and, until we get all the way up to the uh, ultimate burger, the Bad Beast Barbecue Burger. Somebody asked to see that. So that's gonna be our very last one in the series. I won't tell you when, but it's coming sometime soon. So, so hey, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. And like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If there's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. See you around the smoker. Mm. This is pretty good. Hmm.